What's up everybody, QC Comics here, back with another action figure unboxing video, and today I am so excited, out of the whole new Bad Batch wave of figures, there's one that I wanted more than any of them, and it's Asajj Ventress, and I found it today at a Books A Million store, or BAM, they are a bookstore that carries all sorts of different things, including action figures, and there was one Ventress on the shelf, I snagged it, I was so happy to finally see it. Uh, I do have a couple of the other figures from that, that wave on pre-order. I don't know why I didn't pre-order this one, and I've been like FOMO ever since. And now I finally have it. I'm very excited. Of course, this is the new line of packaging. You got the artwork on the side here, and this one, this line's got the uh, the orange coloring there, slash a little bit of yellow. But of course, always killer artwork on the side. There's the back, again with the artwork. Doesn't have that same matte finish on the back, but still really nice. And then you've got all your information there if you want to take a look and read that. And then nothing on this side, and then your top is just taped together. So I am not going to wait any longer. I, ha I was, I, out of all the places I went over this last week, I've checked Targets, I've checked Best Buy, I've checked multiple Walmarts. Uh, even GameStop, which normally comes through for me, and I could not find this figure anywhere. And then we actually stopped at that bookstore just to get coffee. And I was like, eh, you know, I'll walk by where the Star Wars toys are. Maybe there will be something good. And I actually picked up this and a Tuscan Raider from the Archive Wave. So that was awesome pickup day. I'm really, really excited. And let's pop her lightsabers out here. There's two of these. They're both the same, so I won't hold them both up. But of course, she's got her curved hilt here, kind of like uh, Count Dooku has. The blades, I believe, should be like all the new sabers, yep. So you can pop it in her hand without the saber ignited, or you can just easily pop that in, and she's got her saber ignited. So, not a lot of detail on the hilt, but it, it, it serves its purpose. Uh, let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. A little bit of black in with the silver paint, but overall, pretty standard saber. But it does look really nice. I mean, pretty much anything with a red saber looks great. And of course, double trouble. Awesome that you get two of them. Of course, her character has two lightsabers. And then let's get her out. She looks so good. That's the main reason why I wanted this. The head sculpt. Looks just like the character from the show. Of course, she was uh, made popular from the animate, the Clone Wars animated show. Even briefly had an appearance in that uh, little micro, micro, macro, I don't know, <laughs> micro series that's now on Disney Plus if you want to watch it. The paint is excellent across the head. The head goes all the way around. Really clean lines there. Looks fantastic. And she can look up a pretty good, pretty good ways for a black series. And she can look down pretty good. Then the shoulders and arms will go up to about, uh, yeah, solid T-pose there. Bends really easy right out of the package. Nothing feels stiff, but nothing feels loose. And then on the face, oh, before I move on, the lips look great. The eyes look great. Just a menacing, evil look to her. So I'm just oh, I'm beyond happy to finally have this figure. I was so jealous seeing everybody else with this. I wanted it so bad. Then of course here on her, on her back, not a lot going on because she just you know she's got that open back there. But it's true to the design of the character and the costume. What's really impressive, and then you get the same on the front there. But what's really impressive is this bottom. Oh, I love anything cloth goods, and this has got this shiny kind of, uh, I don't know if you want to say purple, I mean this maybe is more purple and this is more of a, kind of like a, a but it's it's kind of just a really nice shine, reflective look to it. Underneath, I don't even care what's under, I'm never going to have these hiked up, but she's got her kind of like that wrap legging, so that's really cool. This here does move, it's got a bit of bend to it, but it's pretty stiff, and it looks great, it looks worn. The, the gold paint here with all the, the grooves in the design really stand out. And overall, I mean, it just 
she looks intimidating. She has a presence to her. I'm, oh, I, 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 I don't want to keep saying I'm so happy to have it, but out of this whole wave, even beyond that, the, the Mandalorian wave that came before it, this is one that I knew I wanted and I was just regretting not pre-ordering it. So when I found it today, ah, oh, just, it's like, this makes, this makes my weekend. So yeah, that's, that's the Asajj Ventress figure. Of course, she's got that kind of striped look here on her forearm up to the wrist and hand. It's just a, a really nice mix of deep and light and reflective patterns and, and colors on the figure that it stands out so well. I mean, if I put this in with a, any photography with any other characters, it's this is the figure that's going to stand out in the photo. It is it's incredible. It's a fantastic figure. So there is the Asajj Ventress Black Series Star Wars figure from the new Bad Batch wave. And if you see it, even if it's a character, if you didn't follow the animated show all that much, maybe you're not too familiar with the character, that's okay. Because in Star Wars, there's all sorts of great designs for Sith and Jedi and bounty hunters and aliens and all sorts of different things. And Asaz Ventress is definitely one of the more unique designs, especially for a humanoid character, and I can't recommend it enough. The figure itself, the line work is great, the detail is excellent, all the paint applications are really good, the reflective surface on the skirt is, is just top notch, it really stands out, it, it really, especially under... Uh, any kind of like photography with, with good lighting things. It just pops. It reflects really well. And I can't say enough good things about it. It, it. If you're on the fence about it, I recommend it. I know myself these days, I kind of have to pick and choose a little bit. Sometimes I saw um, a, a tank trooper today and I had to pass it up even though I don't have one. Just because I can only work so many into the budget that, you know, I got to really just stick to the ones I'm looking for. So this is one though. If you're like me and you're sticking to looking for particular figures, maybe you bend on. Maybe maybe you go, eh, I'll, I'll find a little extra room in the budget for this one. Because this is definitely, if I'm giving it a rating, 10 out of 10. Top-notch figure, world-class. It's amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. So if you see it, do yourself a favor and pick it up. As always, QC Comics here. We love doing the action figure reviews. If you liked it please give us a like or maybe a subscribe or share it or comment. Let me know if you have the figure. What do you think about it? Do you, if you don't have it, do you plan on getting it? Maybe now that you've seen it, do you think, eh, maybe it's worth a pickup? Do you like the character from the show? Whatever you think, uh, go ahead and leave a comment and tell me. As always, we'll see you next time with another action figure video review slash unboxing. Take care and later.